welcome back to Easy Nails. Today I'm going to be doing a short French cutout design using multiple cover pinks. Um, this is the first time I've really tried to do French cutout design. I did it without a tip cutter and I'm showing you guys all the different cover pinks I'm using. I have some Sierra Robles, um, not polished nude, candy cover pink and I am using the candy covered snow to fill in that thing. So I'm basically doing different colored cover <clears throat> pinks and nudes and then I'm doing the cutout by hand and we're going to see how it goes. So I'm showing you guys all the different products that I will be using. I already applied the pink base and I'm going to show you guys how to file off that white. So you guys can see I made it kind of risen and that's the key to file off the acrylic to get the perfect French nail. So I am just showing you guys how I go in here and really perfect that shape of the smile line. You want there to be a little ledge between where you're going to put the white and where you're going to put the pink. And this was my first time doing this. Um, this is a file off French design and I already applied all the pinks there. And now I'm going in with the um, candy cover snow. This is by S&M Nail Candy. I'm using a brush here and um, S&M Nail Candy Irresistible Sweets Monomer. So I am putting this basically on top of the pink. And the goal here is just to ensure that you fill in the areas really well. Um, don't worry if it gets over the nail because we are going to be filing it off. So you just want to make sure that you get, you fill in the areas really well, the side walls especially. Um, I didn't fill it in enough and I had to go over it. So make sure that you make sure you add a lot, a lot, a lot of white, especially in those side walls. <clears throat> and don't worry if it's messy. That is the whole point of this file off method that you can just file over the pink area and the white is gonna file right off. So again, just apply the white um, over the pink and make sure you fill in that the lowered area as much as you can. I hope I'm making sense here. Um, this one I tried to like go around the edge. I was just testing out different methods. Um, I do find that it was easier just to do the file off, but make sure you pile on that white, especially on the side so that you will not file off too much. So you want to make sure you really pile on that white to fill in that little ledge that you have there. So that is what I'm doing. I'm going in, piling on the white, or um, you can go over the pink area. Don't worry if it's not perfect. As long as you have a lot, a lot of white in there, that's what's important. And I'm going to continue doing this throughout the other nails. I wanted to do one accent nail with a different color. So I chose this lovely claws eggplant. I got this from my nail swap box with Rachel's nail glam. Make sure to go and check her out. So this is like a really deep dark purple. Um, it's really, really pretty. And I did the same method on this one, just went over it and we are gonna file off anything that goes over that pink after. So you can really do this with any color. I am gonna go over this with a glitter. So I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute. So we're gonna do a glitter French, but the most important thing at this step is just to fill it in. Now you can either fill it in like this or you can go over it like I did with the white and then you're gonna file it off either way. So I'm gonna let you guys keep on watching this.
So now I'm coming in with the glitter. This glitter I got from AliExpress and I will show it more in depth in a haul I have coming up with tons of glitters from AliExpress. So what you want to do is this one I um, decided to just fill it in and after you fill it in you can either go in and file off anything that got over it and then you're going to want to go over it with a little bit of clear and then that is what is going to adhere these um, glitters to it. So you just go in with a little bit of clear and then place those glitters down on the dark purple color. I thought that this effect was really, really pretty, especially over a darker base and then to apply the glitter on top. Let me know what you guys think. I thought it turned out really, really pretty and unique. So again, I'm picking out some clear and using that as a base to adhere these glitters and darkening in any areas here that I see fit. And now you guys for the fun part, I'm using a coarse sanding band here and I am just going really lightly over the pink area. Now I found as I was doing this that it is important to try to only go over the pink area. Obviously you are going to touch the white. This is a cover white that I'm using. so. That helped a lot in its durability, but try just to go over the white area so that you don't file off too much. But you basically wanna go over the white area and then slowly you're gonna see it's gonna be revealed. Our perfect crisp French um, nails are gonna be revealed really, really soon. So you guys can see I'm just going over it. My e-file is on like a medium speed and you just go over it. Be careful not to overfile those sidewalls, but slowly, slowly, you're gonna see that that French line is revealed and this part was so much fun. I'm sorry, I don't know why it was shaky here, maybe because my hand was resting on the, um, the air cleaning vent, the dust collector, so it was a little shaky, but you guys are gonna see here slowly and slowly, just take your time with it. Um, um, for just from doing these nails, I figured out not to hold the e-file in one place for too long. Um, you never want to do that anyway because it'll overheat, but that would just take off too much of the white. So just do it really, really gently, slowly, and you guys can see how that perfect French is being revealed. So I did decide when after I finished filing, you guys can see the beautiful French coming out that I just wanted a little bit more pop of glitter on those nails with the glitter. So what I did was I took uh, uh, any glitter gel polish that you have, I used it as a base and then taking that, I applied more of these glitters around that smile line. So this is totally optional, but you guys know how much I love my glitter. So I just wanted a little bit more glitter on there. You guys can also use a clear, um, anything you want, just to adhere some more glitters around that smile line.
And now we are going in with our top coat, you guys. These were super, super, super cute. I can't wait to try these again. Um, I did learn not to over file because I had to go in and fix some of these. So just don't over file, but generally the file off method works really, really great, especially for beginners. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. I found it really fun to do. And these were so cute. I love how they turned out with all the different kind of cover pinks I used. And that nail with the glitter, oh my God, you guys, it was so beautiful. It was kind of just like a shadow of that darker color underneath. I really, really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below what you guys thought of this nail look. If you guys have ever tried the file off French design before. And that is it for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.